Hey everyone, this is Bo from the Mars server. I'm here to do a video on NX Credit and Prepaid. Yeah, the moolahs. Uh, so NX Credit and Prepaid is an actual currency in Mabinogi that requires you to spend real money to obtain. Now, why am I covering this topic? Well, there's a few reasons why I'm covering this topic, and I'll show you guys uh, why. Um, I don't think you guys can actually see it on my screen, probably because... They don't show the cash shop, it's like separate. But basically, if you want to see the cash shop in Mabinogi, you just go to the bottom right corner right here where it says shop, and then it says go to shop. Now, there are two different types of currencies in Mabinogi. For whatever reason, I have no idea why they split it up. It is like the most annoying thing for anyone who buys NX. But there is prepaid, as I mentioned, and there is credit. The difference between the two is that credit is used with a credit card, PayPal, the most two common uh, uses, um, and then there's other options like a mobile charge or actually using their earn free NX service. Now some people are probably like, oh, free NX, how do you earn free NX? Um, they have this thing where if you do surveys and you do you just do stuff that's on the list, you will get a certain amount of NX to your account. Now, is this legit? Uh, that is a pretty good question because, for one, I have done it in the past when I did not actually charge NX, like, with my own money. <laughs> I have done it in the past, and it works. Uh, I'm not going to say that it doesn't work. It does work. However, it's not a lot. It's like a very small amount. It's probably like 30 cents, 40 cents, 10 cents. It, but eventually it starts to add up. Um, and it, you might be able to get one gachapon, you know? <laughs> and then that one gachapon is going to be like a disaster. But anyways, um, that is basically uh, a way you can earn some free NX is just to do their earn free NX program. Um, but in my opinion, just for me, just, this is strictly just me, I prefer that you do not do those programs because they can be very sketchy, they can, like, they're taking a lot of your information and stuff like that because some of them will be asking for your email, some of them will be asking for your address, your phone number, uh, some of them will require you to purchase something, which is like, if I'm going to purchase something, I might as well just purchase the NX, why am I going to purchase something else, right? So, um... I wouldn't recommend using their Earn Free NX program. That's just me. You guys are free to do whatever you want. But uh, this is just for privacy reasons. Is like I personally do not want my information out there like that. So that is uh, one thing you guys can do if you wanted free NX. Now, the reason why I am doing this video is because I want to let you guys know that there is an actual better way to charge NX and a lot a lot a lot of people do not know this because it has not been advertised. I have not seen uh Nexon or Mabinogi ever advertise this. So um I'm gonna let you guys know that the a really good way to uh, uh I guess charge or get some NX is to use Steam. Um if I press control tab right here, you can see that it's an interface that is already connected with my Steam. For those that have never used Steam, it is literally another program that has a bunch of other games on it, and for some weird reason, Mabinogi is part of that uh, list of games under the free to play. Um, and if you do use Steam, it'll, uh, and you do, I mean, if you do charge NX through Steam, what it's gonna do is it's going to provide you an uh Mabinogi trading card. And what that does is you can combine those trading cards into a badge and it's gonna help you like gain some other like stuff on Steam and it's like awesome. Um but what it also does is that if you don't want to combine it or if you have way too many you can always actually sell it in Steam to other players, to other people who do want to buy it. And when I say sell it, you can sell it for actual money. And normally these cards are going for like maybe 20 to 50, I'm going to say, 20 to 50 cents each. 
and you get about a card every time you charge NX. So if you're charging NX anyways, and you're, and it's not through Steam, you're actually missing out on a few coins. Like, it's not a huge amount when you think about it, like, oh, 10 cents, whatever, or 20 cents, whatever. But if you were to constantly charge NX for Gachapons or something like that, and uh, you did it through Steam, eventually you're going to get, like, I don't know, 10... 10 or 20 cards, and that's going to add up to, like, at least, like, a dollar or a few dollars, and that's going to help, like, significantly over time. So that is one thing to keep in mind, is that if you are going, if you want the best bang for your buck, I guess, is I would recommend using Steam. You can sell those cards. You can use your credit card, if you have one, to buy those cards. And... You know, for those who have credit cards, you're going to get points off of your credit card. So you're, you're getting points off of your credit card. You're getting training cards off of it to sell back. So you're getting a lot of money back just for buying NX through Steam. So that was one thing uh, I wanted to share with you guys is that that is like literally how I charge my NX is literally just through Steam. Now there's also one thing that a lot of people don't know is that there is a limit to the amount of NX you can get uh, charge. Um, maybe some people don't charge up to that limit because it's kind of high, <laughs> but, um, there is a limit. And basically, if you were to charge through NX credit, like PayPal, I think it can go up to like maybe 200 or 300, I forgot, 200 or 300 limit, um, on your account. And then it'll say, you cannot charge anymore because blah, 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 you, you are, you know, you're giving us too much money, basically. And it'll stop you from um, getting NX uh, through PayPal uh, or credit card. However, using Steam will not do that. Steam does have a limit, but it's a lot higher than... Um, uh, it's a lot higher than Mabinogi, I believe. Um... And at the same time, prepaid does not have a limit. I forgot to mention that. Prepaid does not have any, any, any NX limit. You can buy as much prepaid as you want. Now, what prepaid is, I think, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but prepaid is literally just all Karma Coin cards, NX cards, anything that has you purchase in a store that's a card, prepaid card that can work on Nexon cash, that is prepaid. Unfortunately, you cannot combine prepaid and credit together, which I wish they did, but, you know, you would have to use one or the other. So I don't really use prepaid as much anymore because I mostly use um, purchasing through Steam. And how that works is if I go here, lower right corner, cash shop, it'll say add fun. Just click on that, and then it'll pop up. Actually, it'll pop up my Steam interface. I actually don't think you guys can see this. Oh, yeah, you guys can see this. <laughs> you guys can see how much it pops up. It pops up the uh, Steam interface, so you can actually uh, charge through your Steam account into uh, your uh, Mabby thing. So it's very easy, very convenient. It's, like, super simple. Now, here's one thing I probably hear a lot about. Um, from a lot of new players is uh, can we gift NX cash? Can we gift things to other players? Yes and no. There, it's kind of hard to explain, but um, you can only gift to other players if you give them a uh, NX card code. If you give them a code, they can put in the code through the website and get it that way. If you decide to give somebody an NX, some NX. If you decide to give somebody some items, that's a little bit different. You would have to make sure that the item is tradable from the cash shop to that character and trade it that way. You would actually have to purchase it first and then trade in-game. But you got to make sure that it can be tradable. Not, not all things in Mabinogi can be tradable. And if they are, they probably can only be traded once and then that's it. Um... Another thing that people don't know is um, if you do charge NX through a, a Karma Coin card, I'm going to show you guys right here. Pretty sure you guys can see it on my screen. Yes, there you go. 
if you charge NX through a Karma Coin card, and you have like, let's say you have a, you have like a $10 Karma Coin card, and then you want to give your friend, you don't want to give your friend $10. You're just like, Psh, I'm cheap. I just want to give you a dollar, right? You actually can give your friend a dollar. <clears throat> And that, which is kind of like, why would you give a dollar? But let's say they needed a dollar, and then you, you can actually give them a dollar through this $10 Karma Coin card. In order to do that, you actually have to put $9 into your account first, and then give the code, the same code of that card to your friend. Or if you trust your friend enough, you can just give them the code and be like, hey, just only chart, just only like take $1. But they can't actually, because it's not an option. But yeah, actually it is. It is an option. Sorry. You don't see it here, though. But for the Karma Coin option, you can actually redeem a dollar if you wanted to. You can redeem a dollar, you can redeem five dollars, you can redeem the whole ten dollars if you wanted to. But there's uh, there's actually an option that lets you just redeem a dollar off of a ten dollar card, or twenty, or whatever. Twenty-five, I mean. And you can redeem the rest later. And it'll be still be the same code. So that is one thing to keep in mind, is that if you wanted to gift somebody some NX, just um, consume or redeem whatever amount you wanted and then give the code to them, the same code. So that is one thing, one way to give uh, your friends some awesome NX. Now hopefully this video was very helpful for you guys. I do recommend that uh, you guys uh, try out Steam and uh, use that purchase function. It also allows not just credit card, but it allows PayPal as well. Um, it does not take NX cards though. So if you're thinking that, oh, can does Steam take NX cards? No, it does not take NX cards uh, or Karma Coin cards. Um, but it does take Steam cards. So if you're going to GameStop and you're going to buy a, a Karma Coin card, um, you can also buy a Steam card, and the Steam card will just literally work the same way as a Karma Coin by putting the money in from Steam, I mean to Steam, and then to Mabinogi, and I'll work just fine. So there are your options for charging some NX uh, prepaid and credits. I'm not going to say if there's any other, like, really, uh, shady ways to get some free NX because I know that's going to be like a very common question. People are going to be like, yo, Bobo, how do you get some free NX? I would say if you're really desperate, do the, the earn free NX program. If you're really desperate for some free NX. But other than that, go just get like actually earn some money <laughs> and buy NX because that's like the only way you can really get some NX. Or you can uh, win some from events and stuff like that. So hopefully if you guys uh, like this video please feel free to uh, like and subscribe and leave any comments, anything I left out as well. And I will always 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 take requests um, from you guys. So I do leave your requests in the comments as well. Okay? Alright. 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 Stay awesome guys and I'll see you guys next week.